Hello everyone, we have another video and in this video I'm going to um, teach you, I hope I can teach you um, how to read dates. So we have günlar, which means days, and aylar, which means months, and tari, which is date. Okay, haftanın günleri, haftanın günleri, which is days of the week. Pazartesi, pazartesi, which means Monday. Salı, salı, which means Tuesday. Çarşamba, çarşamba, which means Wednesday. Perşembe, perşembe, which means Thursday. Cuma, cuma, which means Friday. Cumartesi. Cumartesi, Saturday, Pazar, Pazar, which is Sunday. Okay. Yılın ayları, the months of the year. Yılın ayları. Yıl means year. Okay. So I just read the Turkish ones. Um, Ocak, Ocak, Şubat, Şubat, Mart, Mart, Nisan, Nisan, Mayıs, Mayıs, Haziran, Haziran, Temmuz, Temmuz, Ağustos, Ağustos, Eylül, Eylül, Ekim, Ekim, Kasım, Kasım, Aralık, Aralık. Okay. Okay, here I have some um, important days in uh, Turkish culture. Bir Mayıs, or they can say Mayıs'ın biri. They read it in both ways. It is the 1st of May. Um, bir Mayıs, or Mayıs'ın biri, is the Workers' Day. On Kasım, on Kasım, it is 10th of October. Uh, which is the death of the uh, great leader Atatürk. 29 Ekim. 29 Ekim or Ekim'in 29'u. Ekim'in 29'u. 29th of October. 29th of October. Okay, 23 Nisan, 23 Nisan, or Nisan'ın 23'ü, Nisan'ın 23'ü, it's the 23rd of April, which is, oh, um, 29 Ekim is the Republic Day, um, they celebrate it, and um, 23 Nisan is, um, uh, in a, a day for children it's um it's a um, day that they celebrate children's um like they have ceremonies at school and other things they yeah they respect ch ch children kind of dokuzuncu ay the ninth month which is September. Altıncı ay, the sixth month. Yedinci ay, the seventh month. <coughs> uh, 
On ikinci ay the twelfth month. Ayın biri, ayın biri, the first day of the month. It can be um, any month of the year. I mean, a month that um, is mentioned in the conversation at that moment. Ayın dokuzu, the ninth day of the month. Ayın dokuzu. Ayın yirmisi means the twentieth day of the month. Ayın üçü means the third day of the month. If you are not familiar with Turkish numbers, I have the numbers in um, one of the videos. Please go through the channel. Uh, check out the... Uh, what's that? The um, Turkish for English speakers. Uh, playlist and um, just search for the numbers. I don't remember which lesson is what is uh, that, but just go through it and see which videos you need, especially the numbers. And I hope you and uh, I hope they will be helpful for you. Okay, dördüncü ayın. 28. Dördüncü ay means the fourth month. 28 is 28. So, dördüncü ayın 28 means the 28th of the fourth month. This is how they read um, the um, date when they see the numbers written. İkinci ayın 13. İkinci ayın on ikinci ay means the second month. On is thirteen. So ikinci ayın on means uh, the thirtieth, the thirteenth of the second month. Üçüncü ayın on sekizi. Üçüncü ayın on sekizi. Üçüncü ay is the third month. On is eighteen. So it's the eighteenth of the third month. Birinci ayın ikisi. Birinci ayın ikisi is the second day of the first month. Okay. So, here I've written the dates in number and we're going to read it in uh, Turkish in three different ways. Okay, we can say on ikinci ayın, okay, this is day, month, sorry, day, month, and the year. So we have on ikinci ayın yedisi, iki bin on yedi, iki bin on yedi. So we have two thousand. 17. 2017. Bin means 1000. Um, next. Okay, we can say. Uh, okay, the 12th month is Aralık. 7 Aralık. Or Aralığın 7'si. Aralığın 7'si. 2017. So, this is number one, this is num uh, number two, and this is number three. I mean, the three ways that we can say it. 12. ayın 7'si 2017. 7 Aralık 2017. Or, Aralık'ın 7'si 2017. So, next, we have again day, month, and year. İkinci ayın beşi. 2018. Or we can say, beş 
Şubat. Or, Şubat'ın 5'i 2018. Next. Üçüncü ayın 22'si 2010. Or, 22 Mart 2010. Or Mart'ın 22'si, where's the mouse? Mart'ın 22'si 2010. So this is how they read date. Okay, we have doğum tarihi, which is date of birth. Başlangıç tarihi, başlangıç tarihi is the starting day. A day, a day that something starts, like, like a course. Bitiş tarihi, date of the end of a course, let's say. Uçuş tarihi is date of a flight. Giriş tarihi is a check-in date for hotels. Çıkış tarihi is a check-out date date for hotels son kullanma tarihi that's the expiration date okay i think it's over yes uh guys i hope this video was um helpful enough if you have any questions please um write them below in the comment section and um, if you need any practices, uh, I can have some online speaking lesson services for you. You can send me a message and we can arrange it. Okay, good luck.